the free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press... Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you. I love you. This is off. Hi, Mimi. This is still off of the podcast. Are you pointing at me? <laughs> Her daddy uh, loves her. Daddy said he loves you. She's pointing at me. <laughs> you know how, like, when you do that shotgun thing with your thumb? Yeah. She's just looking at me and she's going like that. <laughs> Good morning, Mimi. Her daddy's angel. I love her. <laughs> Same yesterday with that, 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 that. <laughs> but when I just called you, I had a dollar twelve left out of that five dollar phone card. So we only got like maybe four or five minutes left. But I thought that was cool. I can make two phone calls off a one five dollar phone card with you, babe. Mm-hmm. I love you, sexy. And I'll be chirping you the rest of the day, and I'll call you again tonight before lockdown. Okay? You know what you do? Huh. You save that. Or, you know, and then you call me through here. But when you chirp me, chirp me through the other one. So yeah. I know when you want me to pick it up, it's this one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that way I know. Um, I'm going to be adding more. I want to say about Monday. Either I'm going to do it or Carol's going to do it. Auntie Cockar, show you how she did it. Because I found out I gave you the wrong fucking number. I gave you no, see, what happened was the uh, um, number that I went through, uh-huh. it, did, it it shuts out. It, listen to it. She was at work yesterday, but she was trying to figure it out so she could do it all online. And I couldn't remember what the website was. So I tried to call the place myself, and it was closed. And this was at 9. So I'm thinking maybe if we ha- had hurried up, we would have made it to where we had a post. Oh. Okay. And then I was like, wait a minute. It said WW Touch Play Online. So she went there and she she said that she had to do it when she got home. So by the time she got off work, it was too late. And, you know, <coughs> she didn't figure it out till um, about 11, you know, trying to get on the website and trying to, you know, set up stuff and things like that. Right. So now you know how to do it. Let's pay. All yeah. she does, all she does is set up an account, and I think that's what she did. Because I remember looking through the same screen that she had. Okay. Um, so I think I know how she did it. But if anything, I'll ask her anyway. Baby, you do me one tiny favor. Do you still got a Spooks Girls number written down? Um, it's pro- I told you it's programmed in the phone. Okay. Um, so if any more... You any have one minute left. I just go through there. Okay, well, you text her and explain to her how to put money on his books because he ain't got no money on his books, and he's asking if she'll put 60 on there mm-hmm. so we can order commissary on Tuesday. Okay. And then I'll call you later tonight, and you know what I mean? That way you have all day today to figure it out, okay? I love you, gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, my queen. Thank you, love you. I love you, gorgeous. Give all the babies a kiss. You tell them daddy loves them. I will. I miss you guys, and I'm going to do my best to follow these motions to get the fuck out of here ASAP. Yeah, I love you too. I miss you. Mwah. I miss you. Mwah. Remember, check me on the other one when you want to you call me on this one. Yes, ma'am. I love you, beautiful. Thank you, gorgeous. I promise I won't lose you. If you were going to lose me, would I still be here? Thank would you for I using I... Securus. No. Goodbye. Love you. Two. You thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you, my beautiful soulmate. I love you. Thank you so much. Now listen to me, okay? One, that bitch can never come up here and visit me. It is up to me to write somebody's name on the visitation list, okay? I have to say so who comes to visit me. And I already got the sergeant who put a block on her. She cannot come up to this jail and try to talk to me for shit. And as far as the letters, 
I will never, ever, ever, ever accept a fucking letter from that hoe. I will throw that bitch in the garbage. Unless you want me to save it for you, and I'll show you. I ain't read shit the whole nine yards, and I'll save it for you, and that way when I get home, I can show you, babe. She wrote me a letter, but I didn't read it. You know what I'm saying? But right. If I throw it away, I'll throw it away. But I'll, that bitch, you had never, ever. Right, but you know what? That, that was just going through my head. Like, okay, if she's as spiteful as she is, then just imagine what she's going to try to do now that she knows you're in Medina. She's got transportation. I don't. She so, therefore, she's going to probably try to make it seem like, you know, she goes and sees you and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just no, to be spiteful. But I'm telling you, as your husband and your soulmate, that will never happen. Do you hear me? Whoa, wait. Fucking cars don't know how to fucking drive. What, are you about to get to the bus stop? I mean, the uh, rapid? Yeah, we're over here going to... um. Be right here by the little plaza, by 26, the China you know, plaza. You know that pantry that we always go to? Right there on 83rd? Yeah. I'm going to go there and do my community service until I get out and get a job, because I doubt person's going to hold that job for me. Right. But until I get a job, I'm going to go do my community service over there. Fuck it, Why is there two pantry? Why can't you know you can do it over here? Um, you have one minute left. That one spot. That one spot. Yeah, the one right there on 83rd. Right, I'm talking about our church thingy that we go to. Oh, well, yeah, I can go there, either or. But it'll be right by the house. You want me to call you back or wait till you get home, sexy, because it's just in one minute? Um, it don't matter. What's up to you? Beautiful. If you call me on this one, then I know you want me to answer this one. Okay, well, I'm going to go load some more money on the phone. And uh, as soon as it loads, I'm going to get on there for it and call you, okay? Well, remember, they locked right. me down at 4.30. They locked me down till 6, okay? All right. Love you. I love you, too, sexy. Just breathe, okay? Just know I'm not in here for life. I'm coming home, okay? I love you, gorgeous. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Hey, there's my sexy soulmate. I love you, sexy. Love you. Bye, beautiful. Bye. Thank you for using... Secure recall. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my beautiful soulmate. Hey. What's the matter? Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yeah, now I can hear you better. What's the matter, gorgeous? Huh? Talk to me, beautiful. What's the matter? Huh? Man, you can't wait to put these kids down. Can't wait to put them down to sleep? Huh? Can't wait to put them to sleep? Yeah. You're sitting there being bad again? Is that the phone that's messing up? It sounds a little staticky. Probably. The phones are a piece of shit, beautiful. I love you. I love you. I talked to Sergeant Hatton today, and uh, I asked him straight up. I said, hey, sir. I said, you know me, Sergeant Hatton. He's like, yeah, what's up? And uh, I was like, well, you remember me being here for my son's mother and this and that? He goes, yeah. And uh, I said, well, she's trying to start problems between me and my wife. I said, I just want to clear it up. He was like, what's up? I said, um, nobody can come visit me unless I put them on the list, correct? He was like, yeah. He goes, you can even give me the name of a person you want to block from coming up here. I said, good. I want to do that right now. I gave him her name. I gave her her name. Can you switch phone? Uh, yeah. You want me to call you on a different phone? Yeah, this one is staticky. All right. I love you. I'll call I you right now. I can barely hear you. All right. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Love you, too. Thank you for using. Hear us. You may start the conversation now. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me better? Yeah, a little better. I mean, those phones are shitty. Yeah, every one of them are shitty, babe. Every fucking one of them. Because <sighs> I used the one right next to it, and you couldn't, like it. 
I couldn't hear you. You could hear me clear, but I couldn't hear you because I could barely hear the recording. Right. It's still kind of like breaking out. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. I'm not beating it to death, bro. I tap that. Well, I'm not the one fucking the phones up. So you stick to your conversation to worry about fucking you. But don't fucking yell at me. Because I'm not your fucking son. So fuck you. What happened? Man, I got some grown ass man trying to tell me what to do. Fuck. Huh? Hello? Yeah. Man, I got some grown ass man trying to tell me what to do. Like, fuck that. I love you. I love you. Is the kids going crazy, sir? Yeah, that's the way. Where are you at, upstairs? No, it's downstairs. What's the matter, beautiful? You sound so drenched. Huh? Huh? Just tired. What time is the kids' appointment? I'm going to send them up here in a little bit. No, no, I said, what what was their appointment? I can't hear you. What time was their appointment? Oh, it wasn't an appointment. It was just a walk-in. Oh. Because this is one of the Saturdays that they did a walk-in, so I just said, fuck it. We got to do it because we needed milk and stuff, so I did my paperwork, you know, to get me back out of So all I got to do is, I guess, when I go to the center, I just got to step back in there because I got to talk to a dietitian. Right. And then, you know, take my proof of pregnancy to them and... Then they'll load, you know, mine onto the card, too. So that's what you did? Yeah. Okay. But I got a call to schedule my appointment with Seth because I missed the first screening appointment. So I don't know if I'll be able to make that up or if they can do it when, you know, my next uh, my next appointment or something. And that's the one that's in, like, two or three weeks or whatever? Huh? That's the one that's in like two or three weeks. The first screening? No, did you say we? I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll be able to do the first screening because I'm already in the second trimester. But I mean, they they can still do the screening because that was for Down syndrome. Just check to see if there's any you know signs of Down syndrome. Oh. But by the time I go back in there, I'll be about 16, you know, 17 weeks. So at the next appointment, we'll be known what we're having. Right. Um, so that's the next one that I want to get a furlough to, right? Huh? No third-party calls are allowed. Hello? Yeah. That's weird. It said we were doing a third party call. Like I don't fucking get right. That. It keeps uh, it keeps saying that. I don't know why. Because his phones are fucking retarded. Right, just like earlier. What happened when the call dropped? I don't know. I thought your your phone died. Huh? I thought your phone died. No, and then I was waiting for you to call me back, and you didn't call me back. So I said, what happened? No, I called you back because it kept going straight to voicemail. I called back twice. And right, but you know what, too? Out. Sometimes Mariana's phone is acting real stupid. It was putting on airplane mode all by itself. And then when I go to look up, it said airplane mode on. And I said, what the fuck? Her phone is acting real stupid. Well, that old man sitting next to me, he smacked the phone up against the wall. So I did it, and he gonna tell me, you need to stop doing that, that's why the phones are shitty. That's why I told him, motherfucker, you just did it, don't try and fucking run your mouth to me, I didn't do shit wrong. And now he over there complaining to a fucking CEO and shit, trying to get me in trouble. Okay. I love you. I love you. What's up, Mr. Jones? Oh, man. Huh? Hold on, what's the bitch? I'm a little cocky. I like this. Like You're like me. I do. What are you doing? No, I don't do. But I do too. I got a high risk wife. I'm on the phone with now. You see what I'm saying? I cannot hear. Hello? 
Yeah. Now I was talking to the CEO. That old man tried to go tell on me too. And Sam's was like, just leave it alone, Robert. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Like, you got some personal things. I'm like, I got some personal things, too. He was like, I know. Just talk to your wife, right, please. I was like, all right, cool. <sighs> but I had talked to Sergeant Hatton earlier, um, right when it disconnected. Is there any way you could talk a little louder? Um, yeah, I'll try. The volume up on the phone? Still mu- it's still muffled. The phone is still muffled. Well, it might be this phone, and it might be her phone, too. You know what I mean? Because right now I'm talking loud. I'm talking like the whole pod's looking at me. Uh, but uh, Kathy's a liar. Straight the fuck up. She can't come up here and come see me, period. So I don't know why she tries to lie to you or try to start shit, but that bitch can't come up here and see me at all, period. The only way someone could come t- see me is if I put them on the visiting list. And I already got uh, Sergeant Hatton to block her. She can't come up there and try to see me, talk to me, or nothing. Right. I love you, gorgeous. I love you too, thank you. I miss you guys. We miss you. You know, uh,. I think Mimi is getting the hint that you're not home. Why? Because what me what me and Mar noticed is earlier today she kept saying, Dad, 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 you see, Dad, Dad, you see, and she didn't see you paying her attention. Uh-huh. And she kept saying, Dad, Dad, and I think she's starting to realize because she don't see you. And normally when she says, Dad, Dad, you you know, it's you playing with her. Right. And she didn't see you, you know, paying her no attention or nothing. She just kind of looked around and said, Dad, 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 Dad. Think she going to forget me? Huh? I said, you think she'll forget me? No. Mm-mm. <sighs> but she looks like she's just going to be being around every day that, you know, she is just now dawning on her like, wait a minute. Where is my dad at? And you know what's crazy? I can give you my mom's number right now, and you can call my mom or text her, and I guarantee you my mom will tell you, Kathy don't know my mom and dad's number. Kathy don't call my mom and dad's house, so you didn't ignore that bitch, and I guarantee you that's what my mom will say. I guarantee you. Right, she was trying to sit there and say that your, that your grandmother, you know, your mom's mom, was sitting there, uh, used to call her and stuff like that. And she's like, oh, no wonder I haven't heard from her in a while. That's a lie. That's a straight up lie. Because you know her like as if you in the home. Contact her. Huh? Like as if she made it seem like your family contacted her. Hell no, babe. Hell no. And I guarantee you, if you oh, so step. Guy, I can barely hear that. Go. Now. Who is that? Little ones, move, move. Like, like yeah. something, something. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Even when, even when I'm home, we, we can't get five minutes to ourselves. I love you. I love you. <laughs> move. Who is that yelling? That was Boo Oh my god, that little fucking boy is getting on my last fucking nerve, for real. Trust me, me and Marv, we've been dealing with him, and it's been crazy. Well, uh, they told me, um, because I gotta go, remember I told you I gotta go see them lawyers next Friday? Uh huh. That come to jail, they're gonna help me file that motion. I'm gonna file a motion for a sentence reduction. And if the judge approves it, I'm going to have to go back to court and pretty much prove to her why I want the, why I deserve the sentence of reduction. You know what I mean? And right. I'm going to let it be known. Hey, I already went to jail with this 30000 You guys can't charge me for the same 30000 that I already went to jail with. You can only charge me for the thirteen or the 10000 that I owe, period. I owe the thirty, yes, but they can only charge me for the ten. And then if that fails, I'm going to file uh, an appeal 
so they can take it all the way back to court and go through the whole bullshit again because I'm not sitting in here six months over something I didn't fucking do. Not only that, but at the same time, she could she had no right to sit and say, well, you haven't made uh, pa- uh, past uh, payments. Well, uh, how is she not going to say that you're not going to make payments if you made two payments since all this started? Right, right. You made some attempt. Is that Bruce's show that you- No, that's Mimi. Uh, Mar, give her her cup or something. Well, what got me present pissed off and really, really hating that judge was the fact that she didn't give a fuck about you or give a fuck about my other kids. All she was caring about was fucking Kathy and little Chris. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she spoke to Kimbler, just like how she spoke to your attorney, which her attorney shouldn't have never spoke to her. Right. We have no, no ties to connect. Right. Well, like I said, just don't be surprised. If she doesn't give me the sentence modification and she denies it, I'm filing an appeal before December 2nd, and then I'm going to ask for a fucking arraignment so I can get a bond. I'm not going to miss Christmas. Fuck that. And I'm not going to miss fucking... Uh, I'm going to do my best not to miss Thanksgiving. But I'm not missing fucking Christmas and New Year's. They got me fucked up. If they want to send me on probation, that's fine. Put me on fucking probation. I'm going to smoke a weed. It's not worth me losing my wife and kids. Fuck that. It's not going to happen. I don't give a fuck. There's a way around this, and I'm going to figure out a fucking way. So if I got to file an appeal and go through the whole bullshit again, I'm going to do that. Three point blank. They're not going to sit here and fuck me like this. I love you. I love you. Do you believe me and trust me? Yes, I do. But I'll never lose you. Nope. And you're nope, never going to lose me. Nope. And I'll never do anything right. to misplace your trust. Never do anything to hurt you or leave you or anything like that. You're my family. You're the reason why I'm breathing. You are my kid. I miss you guys to death. We miss you too. Boo! Go somewhere with that now. Smack his dumb ass. Please, please just smack the fuck out of that kid one time for me. Because if I was home, I would smack him into the next room. That's how bad he's pissing me the fuck off. Hmm. Imagine how much he's pissing us off. The shit that he's doing. Now you know why I'm so rough on his fucking little ass, babe. And then that's why I said every time I whip his ass, he goes crying and screaming, thinking you're going to save him. Well, that shit's done and over with now. That's what I told him. I said, now I see why, you know, that that sits there and is hard on y'all. Because y'all don't listen. Yep. Bubba, too. He ain't out the fucking woodwork. And like I told him, he ain't going to car cars until he can fucking Wait, I mean, he's not, he's not as bad as Boo Boo, but he's, you know, he's the oldest and he should be helping man exactly. him. Exactly. And that's why he gets held on a higher standard than Boo Boo. Even though Boo Boo right. knows right from wrong. Mother's older. You should be fucking the fucking exam. Right. Not listening to his dumb ass. This shit's irritating. Like, I'm tired of hearing you stressed out because of them fucking kids. You have one minute left. I love you. Let me call you right back, okay? You know, love you. Or do you want me to wait until you get them to sleep? Yeah, give me a minute. Let me get them situated. Lay, I'm going to lay them down, you know, put a movie on or whatever. So about yeah. 9, 9.15? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I love I, you, beautiful. Please, I'll, no, I'll, I'll never leave you. Just to crawl in bed and just lay down. Okay, I love you. I love you. And I trust Nine you. 15, huh? Huh? What would you say? I love you. I said, I love you, and I trust you with my heart and soul, woman. You're my everything. I love you, too, and you're my everything. Mwah. Mwah. And you hear all my chirps I send you, babe? Uh-huh, each and every one of them. That's my babe, because there's dudes in here that can't understand why or how you do. I was like, bro, I know my wife ain't Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. I love you. One, to refuse this pre-call, press. 
too. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my gorgeous Hello. wife. Hi. I love you. I love you. What's up? Fucking mad. Why? No, I just got back from legal research. The fucking stupid bitch. She was late getting here. Pizza's all cold. And then I get there and the bitch is on their side. Like, it just, it, I don't know, it just seems like that. Like, I don't know. Cause she was talking about, oh, well, it's not a conflict of interest. No, fuck y'all. Tell him to shut the fuck up. I'm tired of every time I call, he's screaming and yelling. <sighs> Hello? Yeah. How was your day, beautiful? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. It's a busy cleaning. The kids helping you or just fucking getting on your nerves as usual? Mars been helping. Bubba's been helping when, sometimes, but most likely I'm doing Talking about, oh, it doesn't matter the dollar amount. They're saying you didn't make no payments within them three years. I was like, how the fuck is that when they were taking money right out of my check? And they took my income tax check. So that's payments right there. And they were like, oh, right. I don't know. I don't know. Like, just having a big-ass attitude this week. And I'm like, hey, what the fuck? I was the last one to talk to the fucking stupid-ass bitch. And then, you know what I mean? There was four or five other dudes talking to her before. But, like, she was trying to get rid of us before I even got a chance to talk. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, what the fuck are you even here for then if you ain't going to take five minutes after fucking time to talk to me? So I'm going to have to go over. I'm going to have to go over to every fucking child support law they got and uh, review every fucking thing. And I'm following motion after motion. I don't give a fuck. Just Kimber gonna see me. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that hoe. She gonna see me. She gonna bring me back in front of her courtroom. And she gonna get tired of me fucking feeling emotions out. Because I'll file fucking two every week if I have to. I don't give a damn. And then I was like, well, how can my fucking sorry ass baby mama go and talk to my lawyer if, if that's the reason why I'm in here? Because of that bitch. Oh, well, she's not right. being represented by nobody. And, you know, she can talk to your lawyer anytime. No, she can't. What the fuck you mean? That bitch is the she's enemy. Not to talk to your right, that bitch is the enemy. So how the fuck is she supposed to talk to my lawyer? Like flat the fuck out. And then I'm and trying to tell her. Huh? She can that she can talk to your lawyer? Yeah, she said that she can talk to my lawyer. Now how the fuck is that? And that would piss me off. She's not allowed to talk to your lawyer because you know what? Matter of fact, she just got she just got a notice or something or probably to show up there. She's not in, she's not, she was not being questioned. She was not doing nothing. She has no right to talk to your lawyer. Right. Exactly. Exactly my point. And then she was like, oh, well, it's not a conflict of interest because Mr. Barbera never prosecuted you before in the past, so he can still have a private practice and still represent you as a public defender. No, the fuck he can't. That don't even make no sense, you dumb bitch. Like, flat out. If I was a fucking drug addict or a fucking dope boy or something, I'd be getting love. I'd be out, out, out of jail right now. Like, that's what I'm saying. Motherfucking sorry-ass town act like child sports. The worst fucking thing in the world and shit. I can't stand this shit, man. So I'm going to have to read every fucking paper I got. There's like fucking six, seven pages on fucking the child support laws and figure out what the fuck's going on. Like, I don't fucking get it. Like, I'm dead ass serious. Like, I love little Chris to death, but I'm, man, I don't get to see him. My family don't get to see but him. Why the fuck? I don't that you didn't pay child support for the past few years. You were paying child support last year. Babe, I was paying child support in 2000. Right, the year before. Thank you. Because last year we filed. Thank you. Because they were taking it out of your work check. Well, not only that, they, they, they were taking it out of my fucking check in 2015 when I was still in New Mexico. And then when I moved here in 2016, you know what I mean, back home with you, boom, I'm there taking it right out of XYZ paychecks. And they took my income tax check. So how the fuck did they sit there and say I was going so many years without making a payment? Right. Like, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm ready to sign my rights over Look, Chris, like, straight up. Because I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and keep going through this bullshit. Like, I'm tired of this shit, man.
I don't give a fuck no more. I don't get to see him as it is, so what the fuck? Fuck him. I don't give a fuck who cares or who who, who fucking even gives a fuck about it. Like, shit, they're not the ones sitting here in jail over it. I am. I'm what the fuck right. am I going to pay for a kid I don't get to see? That man calls you, heard what he said, try calling me sperm. No, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Take your ass over there, the fat ass Billy did. Right. Fuck. I'm tired of this shit, man. Then the people don't give a fuck about my babies at home, about my pregnant ass fuck, my wife. Like, I don't, I don't, I, my pregnant wife, my babies at home, no one gives a fuck about. But they want me to give a fuck about a kid I don't get to see? Fuck that kid. I don't give a fuck who likes it. Strike the fuck up. Don't even know if the nigga's still mine to begin with. Like, what the fuck? And as many times as you brought up anything about a paternity, they still, get, they still haven't even ordered you one. You heard me say okay. that in court. The bitch was in the courtroom. How come they didn't order and the court order a paternity test right then and there once you mentioned about paternity? Thank you, babe. Thank you. Uh, the, the least the judge can sit there and say, well, you know what, Mr. Rodriguez, we're going to grant you a paternity test. Just to shut you we're up. Gonna... You know what I mean? Just to shut me up. Go ahead and give me a paternity test. I would have been cool with that. But it's cool, though. I got something for both of these motherfuckers. I got something for that fucking motherfucker that got Nevada, and I got something for fucking Kathy. You mark my motherfucking words. I don't give a fuck. I got to work three jobs and run my ass into the fucking grave, an early grave. We, man, this shit's about to stop. As soon as I get the fuck out of here, we'll file a paternity test for little Chris and court order that shit. If I got to come drive the fuck back up here in a taxi with you, and we're going to pay for the fucking shit, that's what's going to happen. And I swear to God, if that nigga ain't mine, I'm getting him for fucking 180 days times two. 360 days, I'm getting him for fucking falsified imprisonment, wrongful imprisonment, pain and suffering, mental anguish, all that bullshit. I'm suing the fuck out this county. And sue her. Oh, yes. I'm suing the fuck out of her. I'm going to make sure that bitch is in a cardboard box. Shit ridiculous, man. I'm getting tired of this shit. I love you, beautiful honey. I just need to calm down. I'm ready to fucking snap. I had, I had, uh, 23 and some change when I bought this $10 phone card. Now I got 12.99. Do you know it's taking fucking 25 cents every $5 phone card and 50 cents every $10 phone card? Huh? I didn't hear you, babe. What'd you say? How much for a $10 phone call? How much for a $10 phone call? It's taken five, or for every $5 phone call, it takes 25 cents off. For every $10 phone call, it takes 50 cents off. For every $20 phone card, it takes 75 cents off. Wow. They shouldn't even charge you. <laughs> right. Is money, money, money. That's why I hate this goddamn town. Straight the fuck up. Then I fucking paid $15 for this pizza and fucking, well, seventeen oh one for the pizza and the pop. Pop ain't even fucking cold, and the pizza's cold as fuck. Wow. Not even hot, babe. Like, not even hot. Pizza looks burnt, and it's cold as fuck. Like, come on, man. Never do that shit again. Mark my words, I will never do that shit again. Salty as fuck. My highlight of my day is you and my kids. Talking on this phone with you and my kids. That's that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me from snapping. And then my dude Kevin, he bought a fucking Supreme pizza. And they didn't even give him a fucking Supreme pizza. They gave him a pepperoni and sausage. And they told him, oh, what? well, this is what we got. You got to take that. And his pizza was so fucking burnt and cold just like mine. And he didn't even get what he paid for. Talk about, oh, well, that's what you get. What the fuck you mean that's what we get? Bitch, we pay for a hot pizza. We pay for what we order. Fuck you mean? Right. <sighs> you see what I'm saying? Right. It says right on the box, man. Pizza Supreme. And them dumbasses probably thought that was pepperoni and sausage, my nigga. And then I'm looking for my pizza, and I'm like, because I'm getting ready to go to legal research. And they're calling, they're like, let's go, Rodriguez, let's go. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up, I'm getting my pizza. Fuck you mean? 
This bitch was supposed to be here at 1, not no fucking 3 o'clock. Then I go, I'm like, well, you got my pizza? Of course, she's got pops and everything else stacked on top of my pizza. But <laughs> come on, man, like, what the fuck? Uh. Watch, I got something for her ass, though. I got something for Kathy, sorry, ass. Mark my motherfucking words, I got something. Mark my words, babe. We're going to stick it to every one of these motherfuckers the wrong way, the long way. Watch my words. Dead ass serious. Oh, you need $150 to file a motion for court order visitations? Bet. Ding. You need $200 for a court order paternity test? Ding. Let's go ahead and start this shit. Bitch, you ain't getting the last laugh. None of you motherfuckers are. Me and my wife and kids are going to have the last laugh. Believe that. Because mm-hmm. like I said, I ain't smoking weed no more. So I'm going to go out and get me a good-ass job. I ain't going to have to worry about no drug test. And then I'm going to stroke the fuck out that bitch. And she's going to be calling you, begging you, can I talk to Chris? Can he keep it? Thick? Can we settle this out of court? No, bitch, you're going to court. You're going to jail. Got me fucked up. United States. <sighs> United States. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. With all my heart and soul, always and forever, you and only you. I was up here wiping down the bedroom walls. I went and I tried to do something. I moved the bed a little bit more away from the window. Mm-hmm. But Mar helped me. But I moved it towards the other window, kind of. But just so that way, you know, if I does, if I don't get that other stuff to touch that one spot in the room, you know, at least I put the big pillow to cover it. So it's about an room? Yeah, wherever that big ass uh, thing came from. The stain or hole? No, it's a hole. I didn't know there was a hole there. Yeah. That must have been new. One of the kids must have been up there fucking jumping around doing that. No, that's been there. I don't know where it came from. Hello? But at least, you know, the pillow, you know, the big and pillow she covered, like, yeah, I the bedroom. <laughs> then, you know, what hole, though? The hole where? on your side of the room? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There wasn't no hole there, beautiful. Put it down. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. One of the kids. No, it's been there. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a deck. Like the one upstairs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, when, before I went to jail, me and you never noticed no hole there. You see what I'm saying? We never noticed a hole there. At least I never noticed a hole there. And there ain't no, there ain't no telling if it was one of the kids, because right where your pillows were, there was no hole. And then now all of a sudden there's a hole there, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Fuck it. All I say is when I get out, we're, watch, 2018 about to be our year. I'm tired of this shit. Because you know why? If you take 2018 and put it backwards, that's my birthday. And that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be our year. I don't give a fuck. And everybody about to get fucked over. If you ain't with us, you against us. It's time to get down or lay down. I don't give a fuck no more. Period, point blank. This is like Mr. Angel today. I said to him, said, are you still going to try to make your way this way? He goes and says, um, I, I don't got a ride. Um, do you got a few dollars? No, I don't got no money. Promise me you ain't going to give him no money, babe, while I'm in jail, please. I'm not giving him nothing. I'm not giving him nothing. The way he played me and uh, he's supposed to be here when I went to court, fuck him. Right. So don't ask me for nothing. You ain't going to get nothing. Yep. Yep, amen. And that's how it's going to be with everybody. You have one minute left. Huh? I said, I got bills and kids, and, you know, your, uh, our situation as far as you and Medina. I, I said, I ain't got time for that. If you're going to come, you're going to come. Don't ask me for nothing. Yep. I love you, gorgeous. Uh, they just walked in with the trays. I ain't eating that shit. I'm about to give it away. But um, I'm going to go warm up this pizza and... Uh, I'll call you later. You want me to call you after we get out of lockdown at 6, or do you want me to call you at normal time tonight? I see. You just call me on this one if you want me to answer this one. All right, sexy. I love you, and thank you for everything beautiful. I'm sorry. 